Hello, hello, hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Julie. This is Julie's Corner. This is my review for The Family Chantel Season 2 Episode 2. First of all, if you see Trump ass on my video, it don't have nothing to do with me. Okay, that is, I don't pick my ads. I am Biden Harris all day. So, you know, please don't think, you know what I'm saying, I am at all supporting that man. No, thank you. Anyway, okay, make sure that you subscribe to my channel to become a whole J-Bird. J-Bird. Dun, 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 dun. It's 2.40 in the morning and all that goodness and stuff, okay? Do not forget to also uh, always breathe it on out, breathe it on out, breathe it on out to inhale and to exhale and to always relax and to relate and to release and to center yourself and center anyone around you. Okay, you can also like this video, comment in the comment section, share it on your social media by hitting the little share button. You can follow me on IG and Twitter at J underscore V's underscore corner and all of the links to all of that is in the description box below okay so first of all i found out that chantel's real name ain't even chantel it's 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 air. i'm like air. so going forward chantel's name is sierra okay that's what i'm gonna call her sierra mm -mm, mm -mm. the family sierra okay that's what it is and whatnot anyway we see Winter, Sierra, and River riding around and getting it, whatever. I'm saying, around, talking about how Royal came and got Aunt Jeanette from the club or whatever. And Sierra still feel like Royal, you know what I'm saying, was on some BS or whatever. Royal must not really trust his wife because he told me back in the day that she was also talking to other guys when they first met or whatever. So he must not trust her because she was out here sending all kind of messages to whoever and he just happened to be the one who was buying it back. I'm like, why can't you so she can't like your brother? Anyway, first of all, these kids it's the fifth element, okay? Water, fire, <laughs> air. They the fifth element kids. Anyway, so, you know, I feel like, you know, Sierra was leading this whole charge because she mad because the family did not like Pedro. So, she feels as if, okay, they didn't like Pedro. I have to make sure they don't like Anjanetta or whatever. Now, River, like, you know what I'm saying? Look, Royal ain't never made, like, a bad decision. And I feel like this is all just speculation. No, it's bullshit from... Sierra's ass. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? They then get on Winter and Ja. You know, she, her and Ja broke up. She said, you know, we kind of talking a little bit. Trying to see if we can work things out or whatever. Now, Sierra, like, I feel like y'all should not get back together. You should not take him back. He had a whole key here for you or whatever. You know, you should just not do that. Where, um, Winter felt like, you know what I'm saying? It was a whole, just, it was just a shitty situation or whatever. But I still feel as if y'all being too judgmental based on what, what we got going on look he did not have a baby on her he had a kid before he met her who like didn't live where they live or whatever that he just never told her about now is that bad yes but he didn't cheat. like he didn't cheat on her you know what i'm saying it's but i she seems that i feel like i may be able to forgive him for lying to me because we were trying to work things out or whatever and it's complicated she love him Okay, and that's what it is. And so they go from that conversation to, oh, see your ass. And so, oh, so do you still want to have the weight loss surgery? I'm like, why do I feel like that was shady? Anyway, you know, Winter brings up how, you know, I was still thinking about it or whatever. You said, but my insurance don't cover it. So I would have to pay out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? That it's a lot to go into it and whatnot. And so River then say, well, Sierra can help you pay for it. Okay, but no, you know, let me know what you need. I can be there for you, but she don't offer to pay for it. I feel like people push weight loss. Someone inboxed me and said they had just had weight loss surgery and I should have it too. And I hope you don't take no offense to me saying that. And I was like, people die from that. I had a friend who had that surgery and she damn near died. Look, if I won't. If I wanted it, I could have it. I'm not doing a certain thing. You can die from that. I refuse to be a person who, oop, guess what? Jilly, that, no. Leave me be. Let me work out my own goddamn way. Anyway, and I did not respond to them. I'm like, that's their journey, not mine. But I feel like, you know, 
Sierra pushing her to have weight loss surgery or, or keep bringing it up. I feel like don't bring up anyone having weight loss surgery if they didn't bring it up first. Don't do that because I feel like Sierra old monkey ass out here body shaming and fat shaming or whatever. And winter winter then said like I feel like I don't know if she if she really wants me to get healthy or if she just tired of having a fat sister. I feel like Chantel, Sierra, is tired of having a fat sister. Just in how she approached the conversation. The conversation had, had nothing to do with her getting healthy. It was like, oh, Ja cheated on you. You should go back with Ja. Is you going to lose weight with the surgery? Anyway, we then see Nicole. I don't like Nicole. Not today, not ever. Now, she out to her friends or whatever trying to brag about her little boyfriend, Alejandro. Now, you know, she like, he be giving me flowers twice a week. I get this and I get that or whatever. Oh, it's just so amazing. See, look, here he is. This is what he looks like. And they like, that's him? We thought you like darker guys. Like, where does he work? Why he look white? Is that who you date? Like, he is the opposite of who you usually date. Now, she brings up he is a manager at a cell phone store. Okay? Anyway, they was like, what? Like, <laughs> her cousin then said, so, you know, you are about to be a professional. You know what I'm saying? We can't see you with somebody who sells cell phones. I mean, what company do we, like, is he like a real manager or like a floor manager? Is he a regional manager? Is he a district manager? Because of different levels to manage us. I mean, if he just the manager that, you know what I'm saying, has the key to the case, I mean, that ain't much of what not. But again, he working. He got a job. He can afford, you know what I'm saying, to send flowers in the DR. So, I mean, at least he got some a couple dollars. He may be broke now. Anyway, you know what I'm saying, now she feel like, you know, what? they hating on me. Why they hating on me? The same way you hate on anybody damn else. Anyway, you know, well, y'all being negative, so I don't want to talk about it. Well, you know, stop punch. She felt like, oh, they are like, oh, he's cute. Oh, my God. And they was like, Next. Girl, you can do better. Than, mm, he doesn't even wear no suit. He ain't like jeans and gym shoes and sneakers. He ain't no manager. I'm like, girl, unless you maybe it's the Metro PCS though. Anyway, so we then see Sierra. Sierra wants to be a nurse because that's what she's in school for. And so she's been going on interviews or whatever. Now, she's like, I've been on several job interviews, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm still looking for things to do or whatever. But this job right here, this is what I really want to do. She wants to be a nurse at a plastic surgeon's office. I'm like, okay, I mean, everybody needs a nurse. So she meets with, you know, the doctor of the practice or whatever. And they do lipo, Botox, and fillers. Now, she admits that she has some filler, you know, in here. I'm like, you too young to be having, you haven't work done already, but I'm going to leave that be or whatnot. Now, this was a very cringy interview Sierra is not a good interviewer at all. Like, she was horribly nervous, awkward. It was weird. I'm like, are you having a stroke? What's going on with your face? Girl, anyway, the doctor say, have you had work done? We well, had some fillers right in here. The producer then say, have you had any other work done? Well, I don't want to discuss anything that don't matter, which means just I had my tits done. I had some lipo. I probably had some, something on my face done, too. I probably had a BBL. I've had things done to my whole body. I'm almost plastic or whatever. Anyway, so as they talking or whatever, um... The doctor said I was intrigued by her, you know what I'm saying, uh, as an applicant. I feel like if the doctor's smart, she would hire her because then her practice would be on the show and there's free promotion and everything. I always say, hook, get it how you live. But it was a bad interview. It was a really, really, really bad. Because she said, you know, you seem nervous. Like she was on crack. Anyway, so, but we, we don't see if she gets a job or not this episode. Now, Excuse me, Karen wants to take family photos, okay? Um, she wants the whole family together. Excuse me, and she wants to take ugly sweater photos for like for Christmas or whatnot. And so she's shopping with Sierra, okay? And then, you know, Sierra brings up how for her graduation gift, nursing school, Pedro wants to take her to New York, but it's really a trip to meet Nicole's and Nicole and her boyfriend. So she's like, I feel like this is not really a trip for me. I'm like, well, it's not. You just, you're, you're just going. Anyway, so, you know, 
She then brings up how, you know, Royo was up to something or whatever. And she don't think Royo trusts Angie because he came and he mad at me or whatever. And blah, 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 blah. And I'm mad at him and blah, blah. Girl, how you mad at your brother because he can't get his wife? That's that man's wife. If she don't have no, no issue with it, why do you have an issue with him coming to get his drunk ass wife from his drunk ass sister? We're going to leave that be. Now, Karen then said, Well, he mad at you too. Okay, because, you know, he felt like Pedro was at the party, his birthday party, and Pedro kept insinuating, kept insinuating that Anginette's, Anginette, is it Anginetta? Girl, Angie was a male order brat. And so he was upset about that. I would be upset too. Pedro wants Angie to be either a mail order bride, a built by Mattel bride, some kind of bride that went that wasn't free. Because he feels like if, if I have that, then they would have a reason to not like her, and then we'll have something in common. They don't like us both. I, move on from that. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the mama feel like I think she's a regular girl. You know, she seems nice. Um, I don't. There's not any red flags for me to feel like. You know what I'm saying? I need to like check into her. You know what I'm saying? But if some reason comes up with some bullshit afoot, of course I will look into things and change my decision later. I feel like the thing that Sierra is bringing up is bullshit. Oh, well, Royal didn't want her hanging out with me because you were slutty drunk. Okay, gonna leave that be. Anyway, we then see uh, Sierra. Sierra at home talking to Pedro, okay? And she tells Pedro, I have good news and I have bad news. I'm looking like, what's the bad news? But she's like, well, the good news is I passed all my classes. Oh, okay, well, good. That's good. What's, what's the bad news? Well, the bad news is I can't graduate. I'm like, but how you, but how you pass all your classes, but you can't graduate? I'm like, I don't, I ain't been to school in a long time. I'm like, but if you pass all your classes, isn't that how you graduate? She then says, my last test, my exam I took, my test average was three points too low. I'm like, oh, so you, you didn't pass everything. Well, unless she meant she passed her classes and the, well, she didn't pass the exam. To me, the exam is a class. He didn't pass it. He, he got to wait. And she's like, you know, I have to reapply next semester in order to graduate. You know what I'm saying? I got to kind of start from there and whatnot. And she's all sad. You know, I can't believe it. I'm so sad. He like, well, how you didn't pass your exam? Are like, you like, how did you not pass? Like, you were you not studying hard enough? And he's like, really digging into like, how did you flunk? Like, what were you doing? Like, you well, I'm like, damn, Pedro. At least you understand to be okay. No, he like, no, I don't believe you. I can't believe you didn't pass or whatever. She's like, well, sometimes it happens. You know saying it, it, schooling is hard. You know, it's not as easy as this or that or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? And now she crying. You know, I'm just sad. You know what I'm saying? He then said, you know, well, I'm not proud of you right now because you didn't pass. She's like, but my friends are still proud of me. My friends still support me. I can't graduate with my friends. All my friends are going to graduate and get a job, not me. Well, I mean, that's what happens when you don't pass. I mean, it's sad because she's sad, but I feel like I don't like her right now. So, I mean, you know, maybe this is like pre-karma. For things she's going to do later on in the episode or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? And now she's up to cry. Her. I'm so sad. I'm not going to graduate. He, you know what? Look, look, I was just upset that because you didn't graduate, I now can't start school. So I have to still work at the warehouse. I'm saying I have to wait to move on with my career too. So I was upset about that. But I know this means a lot to you. I'm saying I know how much you wanted to finish or whatever. I'm saying uh, I'm sorry for, you know, talking to you like that. Whatever I'm saying. I still love you. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I mean, it will once you graduate. Now, we do see Pedro out here who has been in the U.S. for four years. Four years. He, the, the, <sighs> Pedro got here the same time Trump did. Bastard. Anyway, so, you know, he said the whole four years he's been here, he don't have a license. He can't drive. So, Chantel is always driving around town. So, to make her happy, he is taking driving lessons. I'm like, oh, that was nice. Okay. Now, he, you know, with a little black woman or whatever, teach him how to drive. And, you know, he can't drive. He, he really can't. He honking the horn now. He, she kept saying, you can't honk the horn you can tell he either he be driving illegally or he see that she, uh sierra be you know, out here just honking you know all frivolously or whatever somebody cut me off in traffic the other day 
and then rolled down their window and said, you fat bitch. And so I chased them down, rolled down my window, and I said, oh, g- went off. I didn't shoot him. I just, I went completely off and he was in shock like, yeah, yeah, I caught you. I'm sorry. I, yeah, I thought so. You need something? You got, look, people in Detroit be on some bullshit. Anyway. Off subject. So, you know, he riding around. He he didn't he not the best driver. You know, he needs some more lessons or whatever. You know what I'm saying you can tell he was nervous, okay? He don't know green from red or yellow. I don't think he know the brake from the accelerator because she she kept saying, you know, it's a green light, it's a green light. And I'm like, is he stop? It, it was weird. But she's like, you know, from one to ten, he's a three. Okay, but with more, you know, with more lessons, he can get up to a 10. I'm like, he needs a lot more. Okay, because he was like, he was driving. It's like he wasn't breathing. It was weird. Anyway, he then calls the sister because, again, he's supposed to meet up with the sister in New York with the boyfriend. And the sister, that Nicole, said how she's not going to be there because she reapplied for a visa. It hasn't been approved or hasn't been mailed to her yet, so she don't have it. So she can't go to New York. Um, and she doesn't want Pedro to go. But Pedro said, well, me and Chantel are going to New York. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to go meet old dude or whatever. It is what it is. No. No. I don't do that. I don't want you to meet him without me. I don't want Chantel over there. Bad mouth of me or whatever. Making me look like a horrible person. Like, no, 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 no. Her, her hatred. I'm like, y'all both have hatred. So, don't act like it's one side or whatever. Anyway, he like, look, you had something. So, I'm, I need to go. No, 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 I'm not. You know what? You know what? Go, go meet him. Don't interrogate him. And don't be letting Chantel run off about me. And so I guess he gonna still go and do that or whatnot. So we then see his family picture day. Okay. Now Sierra say, everyone knows I didn't pass my stuff and I didn't pass school. But they also know to not bring it up. Okay. I'm looking like, hmm. Okay. Now she brings up how she has not seen Royal or talk to her brother since he came and, you know, and got it from the party or whatever. And so, it's going to be awkward. I say, well, because you was an awkward bitch. Anyway, so my eye was itchy. Um, <sighs> Winter could walk in. I loved Winter's coat. I'm like, ooh, bitch. This, see, some co- sometimes the look is literally a coat, a kimono. The shirt is sometimes is one piece. I really wish she would have worn a black shirt because a black shirt would have stood out better with this coat because the coat would have been the main piece. Her having on that pink shirt, well, that salmon colored shirt, it dist- it it distracts me from how great the coat is. She really should have worn either all black or even all gray to match the gray in the coat. But she needed to be, you know, some solid. To make this coat. I love this coat. I cannot wait to wear the coats I have um, for the fall. And I love a coat that you don't close. It's just like a, you know, an overpiece. I can't wait. Anyway, um, Winter comes in and she realized, oh, it was an ugly Christmas sweater photo for Christmas. You know, I don't celebrate Christmas anymore. You know, she brings up how because people have turned it into gifts gifts and more gifts it's more of a commercial holiday with gifts gifts and more gifts and she don't support that i support people not supporting that part of christmas i think sometimes people go too far i had to tell dj dj you need to calm down he wants me to get him a, a x was an xbox Whatever cost 500 bucks that I have to get from. But that's the only gift I'm getting him because I was not able to get him a birthday gift because of COVID. So, it's kind of a two-for-one gift or whatever. But, bam. Um, Anyway, but, yeah, I support her reason for saying she don't support Christmas or whatever. So, um, Sierra then say, but we celebrated as kids. We went and seen Santa's kids. And we would sit on Santa's lap. Sit on Santa's lap. I'm like, bitch, as kids, you're grown now, okay? And the whole time, we're just like, you know, but I, I said, I don't, I don't celebrate it. Leave me be. Now, leave, like, leave me. You know what? I'm not going to even engage with you. So, Winter's trying to just alleviate uh, Sierra's asshole energy that's coming off her forehead or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And Winter's like, you know, you're being rude. You know, you're, you're being really, really rude or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to have this conversation. I wanted to, you know, do a roundhouse uh, Chuck Norris 
kick to Sierra Stokes, okay, to her esophagus, because I feel like she was really being a bitch to Winter, like she was really fucking with that girl or whatever. Now, Sierra then say, this isn't about Christmas, this is about Ja. I'm like, how the fuck did Ja come up? Ja, what? The mama then say, when she was dating, her and Ja had been together for like six or seven years, and the mama then say, over the years, see, um, Winter has adapted some of the things that Ja does. Like, he doesn't celebrate, you know, a lot of holidays. So, she stopped celebrating them or whatever. And so, Sierra said, I feel like Ja has, like, corrupted her or whatever and trying to alienate her. I'm like, alienate you? Bitch, she's there with y'all right now. What are you talking? Sierra's dumb. She's dumb, dumb, daddy, but I can't. I can't right now. Anyway... So, um, when Sierra then says to Winter, you need to get it through your head that you are going down the wrong path. I say, bitch, who are you to tell her that she going down the wrong path because she don't celebrate Christmas? She didn't say she don't believe in Jesus. Girl. Anyway, River, like, why do you keep tearing her down? Like, why are you doing that? And Winter's like, you know, I am tired of you treating me like a doormat. And she was mad. Like, you couldn't tell she was pissed off. I think she was hurt, too, because why are you bringing up Ja? He ain't got shit to do with this. And the, the venom and the nasty. Sierra is a mean girl. She's a mean girl who now is on TV and thinks she's the shit. And someone needs to karate chop her in a throat. Okay, Ooh, I hit the microphone right here in the throat or whatnot. Anyway, so when Winter say, "I'm tired of you treating like a doormat," doormat, she replies. Sierra then say, "Jive's one who treat." I'm like, "Bitch, did you don't don't do it, Sierra? Don't do it." And she said, "It Jive's the one who treats you like a doormat," which makes Winter get pissed off when she walks. But like, you know what? It's all about you, you dumb bitch. And she, I'm like, "Ooh, <laughs> look." Oh, no, I, I had a whole picture. Um, bam. Sierra ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like she consistently fucks with Winter. And I think that's the reason Winter said, I really wonder if she really cares about my health or she just don't like having a fat sister. She don't like having a fat sister. And she likes fucking with her. And she likes nitpicking at her. And she likes treating her and tearing her down. And I don't like it. And if I was a sister, I would punch her in the throat. Okay. And that was the whole episode where it was going off that way. Um, I don't like Sierra. Formerly known as Chantel. She gets my goddamn nerves. And I do not like people making a plus size person feel uneasy. And I feel like she's throwing little jabs out at her. You know what I'm saying? About shit or whatever. But I'm going to leave that be until next week. Anyway, I'm done. Peace.